Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plexus uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. Uh, this is a lesson uh, 62. It is about uh, seismic analysis of a full scale multi story building using Plexus uh, 3D. So, as you uh, see in these two figures, we have a uh, two uh, sewer layers and uh, we have a multi-story uh, building which uh, uh, con contains of a mud foundation, basement walls, beams, columns and uh, slabs. So uh, we will uh, model uh, uh, this uh, full multi-story building in Plexus uh, 3D with earthquake boundary conditions and uh, soil structure interaction also we will apply uh, the earthquake at the base of uh, the model and we will analyze uh, this using Plexus uh, 3D and we will uh, see the behavior or response of uh, this uh, reinforced concrete building to uh, this time history uh, analysis so uh, the earthquake is from uh, previous examples uh, it is uh, actually real earthquake data from a uh, california earthquake in 1990 so we will use uh, this uh, time uh, acceleration time uh, uh, history analysis in uh, this example so i will not uh, fully uh, model or define all uh, the structural members and materials in uh, this example because we have done in previous uh, in many previous examples actually for modeling the full multi-story buildings uh, you have to refer to lesson uh, six, uh, lesson uh, 46 and 47 because a detailed explain uh, detailed explanations on how can we model a full uh, scale buildings in plexus like uh, all structural members like uh, beams columns mud uh, or basement walls and how can we define uh, the reinforced concrete materials also for uh, uh, earthquake uh, for consideration in earthquake analysis such as uh, selecting uh, uh, suitable constructive models or apply uh, earthquake boundary conditions also inputting uh, seismic data and damping, uh, damping ratios for different types of soils and also for uh, a dumping ratio for reinforced concrete and drift correction and time uh, stepping in plexus you have to refer you have to refer to lesson uh, 60 because we talked uh, about all these uh, features in detail in uh, lesson uh, 60 so if you are not familiar please uh, watch lesson uh, 60 and after that uh, you can see or you can watch uh, this uh, lesson so as we uh, said also in previous examples we can uh, we can use uh, for example every constructive models for earthquake analysis in plexus uh, 3d but uh, the most accurate and the most uh, preferred soil model for uh, seismic analysis in plexus uh, 3d is the hardening uh, soil model with a small uh, strain stiffness uh, because uh, these constructive models uh, captures nonlinear or uh, stress-dependent uh, stress behavior of soils, including uh, significant uh, stiffness deg uh, degradation, degradation under a uh, cyclic loading, uh, like uh, dynamic or uh, earthquake event. So. So our. Uh, example uh, will be like this we have two uh, soil layers the first uh, or the upper soil layer is a clay soil and uh, the lower soil layer is a sandy soil and we will apply the earthquake at uh, the base of uh, the model actually because it is uh, a complex uh, uh, model because it contains many structural members and uh, soil 
uh, layers also uh, that's why we will apply the earthquake until the 10 uh, seconds as you can see in here in previous examples we uh, applied uh, that or we used uh, the dynamic time interval until uh, 20 seconds because actually it take a very long time that's why in this example we will use until uh, the second 10 so if you want you can uh, even apply maybe uh, use a time interval as a 15 seconds or 20 or maybe 20 to 23 as well uh, so after uh, after analysis after 10 seconds of earthquake this is a deformed shape of the soil and uh, the building as we can see how the structural members are deformed under the effect of uh, earthquake find uh, the soil materials and structural members let me show you the projected properties uh, first which is a lesson uh, 62 and uh, I have defined uh, soil uh, contours like this uh, x minimum minus 100 so the a model will be uh, 200 in x direction and 100 meters in uh, y direction because you will apply the earthquake in uh, this direction in x direction that's why we use a larger uh, a boundary uh, for uh, seismic wave propagation and okay also we uh, have one borehole uh, at this corner if i double click on the borehole as uh, you can see we have uh, uh, two uh, soil layers the height of uh, the first uh, soil layer is uh, 20 meters and uh, the height of the second soil layer is uh, 40 uh, meters also we will not uh, consider uh, the water table in this example uh, that's why we have uh, set the head of uh, the water as minus uh, 60 meter okay after completing the analysis you can uh, click on uh, this icon view calculation results so as you can see in here this is the deformation uh, mesh for uh, the structure and for uh, the soil layers after uh, earthquake has uh, stopped at uh, 10 seconds as you can see in here so uh, as I mentioned in here where if you want to uh, to create animation you have to uh, use a uh, max number of uh, steps uh, stored I have used uh, 250 you can use more or maybe less 100 or 50 if you want to make or create animation of uh, how uh, this uh, building moves and displays uh, with uh, respect uh, to time uh, earthquake time also you can uh, click on file and create animation So uh, when you create animation, we don't need uh, these uh, steps. So we only uh, need earthquake uh, steps, and also you can uh, increase or decrease the animation steps, and you can uh, select it, uh, the place that uh, this animation should be uh, saved in. And I have already uh, created uh, this animation. I want to show you in here. Uh, this animation shows how this building moves and displays and also soil model uh, according or in uh, with the earthquake uh, time as you can see actually it is a very advanced uh, earthquake analysis and uh, also the the scale of this deformation has been increased uh, 500 uh, bigger than the true scale uh, logarithmically uh, 
so how you can do this if you uh, I forget to mention this point uh, when you uh, create animation uh, so as you can see in here it is uh, 500 times so if uh, this scale is more than 500 maybe 1000 or 2000 5000 uh, uh, you may not uh, get a, a reasonable or a beautiful animation so you have to uh, maybe use uh, some different uh, scales maybe 500 uh, uh, at 500 scale or maybe 1000 and see uh, the results of the animation also we we can check the displacement versus time at uh, the top of the building because when uh, uh, earthquake is applied uh, this uh, building os oscillate uh, back and forth so we can uh, create on uh, curve manager Okay, let me uh, delete the previous. I click on new and in the X uh, direction we will uh, select the dynamic time and in Y direction we will select it this point which is uh, the top of this multi-story uh, building and I will select the deformation displacement in X direction because we have applied the earthquake in X direction. So as we can see uh, the maximum lateral uh, displacement of uh, this building is about uh, uh, 3.5 uh, centimeters. Also, another important uh, uh, thing is a response spectrum analysis. We can uh, also determine this uh, response spectrum analysis for uh, this building at the top or at the bottom of. Uh, the building so we can uh, again click on uh, curve manager and uh, click on new uh, so we click on here and this is the top of uh, the building and we select the acceleration in x direction and we uh, select the dumping ratio and as a five uh, uh, percentage and maximum period as a 10 second and we click ok so as you can see, this is a response spectral uh, analysis or response uh, for uh, this earthquake. Also, uh, we can uh, add the response spectrum at uh, or on the MAT foundation. Again, we click OK. As you can see, the response uh, uh, spectrum uh, is uh, lower at the bottom of uh, the building uh, than the top of the building also another important uh, things we can uh, select uh, or we can uh, draw the acceleration uh, versus time at uh, the top of the building and at uh, the mat foundation so for uh, this also we can uh, select uh, click on uh, curve manager and new and in x direction again we select uh, the dynamic uh, time and uh, we select this point and acceleration in as a gravity as you can see this shows how this building uh, oscillate uh, uh, back and uh, forth again if you want to add acceleration at the top of the at the uh, mat foundation so uh, as you can see this is uh, the acceleration versus time at uh, the base of uh, this multi-story or at uh, on the mat foundation of uh, this uh, building also another uh, things we can let me delete, exit these figures also we can uh, we can see the forces in these uh, structural members for example i click on here if i want to see the forces in uh, slab so for example i uh, double click on these uh, slabs as you can see 
if I select on force for example moment in one one direction we can check the moment uh, maximum and minimum or positive and negative moments uh, of uh, this uh, slabs as you can see in here and also moment in 2-2 two -two direction and uh, also we can uh, uh, check the structural forces uh, in beams for example again if I uh, double click on this beam as you can see in here if I select force and moment in one one direction and also moment in two two direction and also we can check uh, the shear force as you can see in here and uh, also we can check the forces in a uh, mat foundation for example if I click on this soil and If I uh, double click on this mod foundation and select moment in one one direction as we can see we can see the maximum or uh, negative and positive moments uh, at uh, this mod foundation and also uh, if you want to check the moments or forces uh, at this mat foundation uh, versus time uh, we select the earthquake in here and we click on uh, switch between the faces so for example if I click the earthquake at 0.04 second we can see the amount or the value of maximum and minimum positive or negative uh, moments is uh, changed a little bit so we can also go to another uh, steps and we check uh, the uh, forces in any structural members whether uh, mat foundation or uh, uh, beams or uh, columns for example if I double click on uh, this column as well also we can uh, check for example the axial force at uh, this column we can see that the maximum reaction